Doodlebutt here. We're checking out the second pen sent to me by Zizo. This is the Zizo Visionary. I'm going to talk to you about this, do a little size comparison, writing sample, all that good stuff. But I have the little mini airplane in a bottle here because on their website, they make a claim. They actually make a guarantee that the pen will not leak on an airplane up to 11,000 meters or about 36,000 feet. And, uh, you know me, if someone says that, I, I got to test it. So I'm going to be checking it out to see if that claim is real. Also going to be doing a giveaway. So if you want to learn how to win this pen, stay tuned. Whomever wins this pen, it will come in a box like so. It's an interesting one. It's got the branding on there, zizo.com. Check out their stuff. Actually, I think this pen and this one, this is the other one they sent me, the Incognito. They're actually on sale right now, like 20% off or something like that. So check it out. Uh, opens up like this interesting stuff. You can check my other video all about it. I'm not going to uh, get this all messy because I want to keep it all tidy for whoever's going to take it home, but it comes with four cartridges, even a little polishing cloth to keep it nice and shiny, which is coming handy. Uh, this little case, all that good stuff. So that's how the pen is packaged. I'll give you some of the uh, measurements and details of I give you some close-ups here. The overall length of the pen like so, this is 147 millimeters. It uncaps here with one and like a half turns, one and a quarter or so. And you can see here with the details, uh, yeah, it's got the red, red, yellow, yellow, and those line up with the center stripe. This reminds me of the paint job of like uh, the costume on a jester or something like that, the red and yellow, if it's memory serving me right. That, that's what it reminds me of anyways. Um, bumping the tripod here, but yeah, pops off. It posts on there nice and, and securely. Overall, the pen length now grows to 159. Just the pen on itself like so. This is about 132 and the focus just doesn't care at all today. As far as diameter, the uh, diameter here on the cap, this is 14 and a half. The pen body here is about 13 and a half. We have a step down, as you can see, goes on to the section. Threads are smooth and all that. There's nothing nasty. I do got some ink stuck under my fingernails. I've scrubbed and scrubbed, can't get it out. So if that bugs you, it's nothing I can do. Section length, 20 millimeters, has a bit of an hourglass shape to it there, as you can see. The thickest part at the top here is about 10.8 millimeters, and the thinnest part is about 9.8 millimeters or so. It is a full metal pen, like brass body construction, so it's fairly heavy. The pen like this weighs 47 grams, and then just uh, if we pop the cap off, it drops down to 28. So let's give you some looks here. We got a nice chrome bit here at the top. Hello, you can see me behind the camera. And we got a spring clip. So it's actually a nice little job you on there. It pops up like that, so it's a nice spring action on it. It's got the, it looks like a ball here. That doesn't spin. But going over top of a shirt, I tried this out on actually fairly th thick. I'm wearing a sweater right now. Went over top of that, no problem. Over notebooks, all that stuff, it's all good. Here on the cap band here, we got the Zizo Visionary Limited Edition. That's kind of how they do all their pens. This is number 277 out of 500, made in 2021. And then this one here, this has the full size, like number six nib. On the other one I had here, the Incognito, you can see the size difference in the nibs. This is like a number five versus a number six. And I'll just hold them up side by side so you can uh, compare a little bit longer. Got a little bit more thickness to it as well. Got a bit of a taper here to the body until it comes down to a point and we have like another uh, chrome treated end cap here. The focus is god awful today. Uh, barrel, you know, that rotates off quite nice. It spins off there nicely. The threads are good. No... No challenges there, that's well done. You can see down there, if we can turn the flash on, you can see a little bit of that brass body construction way down in there as well, so you can get a bit of an idea. Comes with a converter, like as I mentioned too, the cartridges, four cartridges. It is a uh, German component, so we got like Schmidt stuff, Schmidt nib, uh, feed, and a converter as well. And all this works quite well. Uh, everything's con you know nice and secure. This doesn't rattle at all. It's it's on there nice, nice and firm. So nothing's coming loose. Nothing's rattling when it's in the pen. Um, yeah, overall build and construction, I've been pretty, pretty pleased with the Zizo pen so far. It writes quite smoothly. I'll do a writing sample here in a moment, but we'll get you a close up of the nib. This one has some little star treatment there and the Zizo brand on there. This is a medium nib two-tone as you can see uh, the other nib on the other pen here if you just want a side-by-side -side, slightly different type of work on there as well so now you can get a bit of a comparison here's a look down inside the cap so we do have a cap liner the threads do, do go in 
to plastic, okay, but it's done right because there is a thread stop. This goes on here and it seals up against that edge so you're not gonna be blowing out those threads and that's also gonna keep the alignment on there as well. So overall build, construction, performance, everything. I've been very pleased with the pen. Um, it's a unique color treatment scheme they got going on. It's not my, my personal kind of favorite type thing. Um, oh yeah, that's right. You can, I forgot to mention this too. Depending which way you start it, you can go red, red, yellow, yellow. Or if you switch it, let's put the nib at the top here so you can see that. They can be opposing, right? Because it's a one and a half turn type pen. But if you start it with the nib down, if you want, I think this is what does it same, same. So that's a little interesting. Depending how you like your colors, you can switch it up. Here's our lineup to give you a bit of a size comparison. In the back, we've got the Lamy 2000 and a Narwhal Piston Filler Peter Draws Edition. This is the Cross Peerless 125. I picked that because this has a bit of a large cap on it, two and a taper. So I thought they're actually fairly close in size. Then my Esterbrook SD Normal Size, that's the Petrified Forest. We got a Diplomat Arrow and the Jinhao X159. And here we are with the caps popped off, same pen, same order to give you a size comparison that way. What I'm gonna do now is give you a writing sample to show you what that is all about. Before I'll do that, I'm gonna show you this cool little feature I discovered on my Jinhao X159. I haven't used this pen very much, really, um, but this is new cool feature. I went to try it out again. I've been sitting for a few months and pop off here to get access to the converter and it does this now so that's a really really great feature i'm super happy with the build quality on this bad boy the ink i'm using is this monteverde garnet and in fact i will ship it to you inked because it's guaranteed not to leak <laughs> we'll determine that for sure the writing sample i can never think of what to write will be what's on this scented candle <laughs> What are my overall thoughts on this Zizo Visionary pen? I'll give you my likes and dislikes. As far as the pen operating, it works really well. Um, you know, the threading on here at the cap is quite nice. Things line up here with the center line that they have going on there. The clip is quite functional. Build quality construction is all good. The nib is very, very nice and very pleasant. So this pen and the other one, the Incognito, the Incognito had a, uh, a fine point. This has the medium, the larger number six size. They have bo both uh, written just perfectly right out of the box. I chucked ink in them, wetness and uh, flow, all that stuff, smoothness, alignment is absolutely spot on. So that that's quite nice. I haven't had any, any problems with that whatsoever. The cap does post nicely and securely. It does back weight the pen because this is a fairly fairly significant cap like this uh, bit here on there adds definitely some some serious weight to it to the backside with my hand size it doesn't really mess things up as far as balance goes you know a smaller hand you'll it's it's large enough you don't have to post it i kind of hold hold my pens right around here so it's just long enough if it was like sitting down there then it starts to get uncomfortable for me but it's got enough length on its own but i you know i also like posting it too and it's it's secure on there too so also, too, on here, you could see the uh, the metal ring here isn't coming in contact with the body. It's quite nice. It comes in contact with the cap liner. So you're not going to have to worry about the cap here uh, scratching up the paint. So that's a nice attention to detail. As far as the paint scheme on this one, it, I mean, it's not my personal favorite. There are a couple different colors. I think there was a bluey green type one you could do. If I were to pick between the two, I would go for that one over this one. But, you know, to each their own. Uh, someone else out there might think that looks super sharp. Just not my personal favorite for color, but there's other color options available as well. So, yeah, as far as dislikes, there's, there's really nothing. Um, but I could see some folks, maybe if you don't like a super heavy pen, it was, what, 47 grams altogether, but it's a metal pen, so you know you're going to have a heavy pen. But it works really well. I have no problems whatsoever with it. I've been quite happy with it. Uh, the website says it's on sale right now. It says the sale ends March 2nd at 11.59. 
but right now it is 12 22 a.m march 3rd and the site still said it was on sale so check the website uh for the most current price if the sale the 20 percent is still going on or not uh you know depending when you watch this video as well so overall I enjoy the pen, works quite well. Now it is time to get out the ink chamber, sorry, the vacuum chamber to replicate flying in an airplane. Let's test out that claim. If they didn't say guarantee, I wouldn't, I wouldn't test it, but they said guarantee, so now that I kind of have to. And while I'm doing that, I'll give you the details on how you can win this pen. Now, for those of you that haven't seen this before, this is my little airplane on the desk here. I have my brake bleeder from the garage mason jar drilled a hole put a fitting and now we can simulate uh flying on an airplane i was just pressure testing it because i had a bit of a leak here around the edge and i went to seal it up and uh tried to use my cock but it was all old and dried up and just wouldn't work anymore I was working on it for 20 minutes working up a sweat couldn't get anything to come out and uh, so i put some epoxy on here not the best solution but what you do is you you put it on there and you start the sucking and then it will fill in the holes. But enough of that talk. Let's uh, pop off the lid here. And, uh, you know, I've done a video series on this. The question still comes up in Reddit all the time, but people want to know how you fly with a fountain pen. Now, if you put it nib up, generally you're going to be okay. But watch that video if you want to know how. But since I said guarantee, I'm going to put it nib down. So actually, let me double check. I'm going to make sure the cap is clean. Okay, double check. There's no ink going on. We put on said cap. Okay, it's on there. Pen goes in. Lid on. Now, while I pressurize this, I'll bring this up to about 36,000 feet. It's about a uh, three and a half PSI differential. How you win the pen is just simply leave a comment in millimeters of mercury. We got to go to about 180. There we go. We'll let that soak for a few minutes. So that's around 36,000 feet. The uh, vacuum you would feel, the reduced cabin pressure. Sorry there, I thought I heard one of the kids crying. Anyways, so uh, you have a little bit lower air pressure in the cabin compared to when you take off from sea level. How you enter the draw while this soaks is just leave a comment down below. And maybe the topic this time are things you wish I would do or wouldn't do with my videos. I'm not going to appease all of you, but I just like to hear little things maybe that I could change up a little bit. I got lots of ideas, so that would maybe be helpful. And I'm going to do the giveaway. I'm going to announce the winner on the channel. There will be inevitably scammers that will go on. They'll steal my Doodlebud logo and then congratulate you that you've won the pen right away. That's not how you're going to be selected. It will be an announcement on the community page. I will announce the winner on Wednesday, March 8th. I'll do a random selection. You'll be selected then, and I'll get in touch with you. We'll correspond over email. So if someone says, hey, you've won, and it's not March 8th yet, you have not. I know you're all excited, but I, that's how it's going to be announced. So there will be scammers. Don't get fooled. You've been warned. So it's been in here now for a little bit. I'll let it sit for a little bit longer. We'll come back and check the cap to see if it leaked. Okay, so it's been a good bit here. Let's uh, bring us back down to... To ground level, that is a nice smooth landing. Pop off the top. I don't want to uh, to do any editing in this. So you can see there's no trickery going on. And uh, here we go. Let's pop this off. So far, so good. Ooh. Let's pop this in. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, dry as a bone. Hey, look at that. Okay. Well, I guess their guarantee is legit. Authorized to fly up to 36,000 feet leak-free. Well, there you have it, my friends. There's the Zizo Visionary. Thanks to them for sending me this pen to review. And congrats to whoever will win it. It's not going to be right away. March 8th, I will announce it. And until then, we will catch you next time.